Okay, I'm going to show you how to make an HTML5 uh, CSS3 website with uh, the least amount of effort and the shortest amount of time. Uh, you want to go to Google and, and uh, actually type in free HTML5 template and go. Uh, HTML5up.net has some great free templates that uh, are very easy to customize. Um, you can pick one that, that looks looks nice to you. I'm gonna happen. I'm gonna pick editorial for this tutorial, and just click on free download, and then down here. I'm going to go ahead and show in folder. I'm going to extract the, those files. And here they are. You've got three files. I'm going to open up index.html. Um, I'm happy to use Dreamweaver, but any text editor will work. Um, here it is in split view. And you can see all the HTML5 code right here for your social icons. Um, in fact, let me let me uh, open this up in a browser so you can see what it looks like. Okay, there's your social icons. There's your big. Um, it's typical of modern websites now. You just have a big uh, text area there and. Basically, all these images are located in this folder here. So, I've happened to um, been working on a, a website for an author, and here uh, here's all her. Um, best-selling images that I've already renamed pick zero one um, pick zero two etc and I'm just gonna copy over these these images um, these with those those pictures I, I have one uh, <coughs> excuse me with a uh, Actually, I've, I've got another one with an even better portrait shot of of the author here. Um, and once I, I drop those pictures in and I uh, reload this page, you're going to see how nice it already starts to look. There's her best-selling books. And we're only a few minutes into this tutorial and we've already got something that looks very modern. When you shrink down to a device size you can see how it still looks great. This is probably what an iPhone would look like. If you want to, I see one image is not how I wanted it to be, so you can inspect there and see, okay, that's pic10.jpg. Let's find that in the code, pic10.jpg. Well, I made a ping image that's rounded. And so, whoops, so if we just change that to my other image and uh, refresh.
Whoops. Let's see what's going on here. Looks good there. Um, oh, I didn't save. That's the problem. Okay. So I'll go ahead and save. There we go. And let's say I didn't want to want to use this part of the page. Well, it's pretty easy to spot that right there. I'm just gonna cop, cut out that section and save. Reload. There we go. Um, these menu items are very easy to, to edit. You can just go find those in the source code. Sidebar. There you go. So let's say you, you want to change it from home page to something else. It's as easy as generic. You can just add your different pages there. You can have a sub menu. Um, I happen to have already done that so I'm going to just copy over what I've done and now got the links that she wants on her website. So downloading a, a free um, HTML5 CSS3 template like this is super easy. It, it looks fantastic. Um, let's say let's say we want to edit this part right here, okay. Just search for editorial. There it is. That's the title. Um, I'm just going to put the author's name in. And then it occurs again down here. So instead of having to watch, there's some other tutorials here that will walk you through how to create something from scratch. But there's some free templates out there that make your life so much easier and of course if you want you can learn all these tags there's a body tag there's a right now I'm working in the header tag and and the other other tutorials go through all that but I, I if you learn like I do you just like to, to learn by example and This is one way to do it, to get up and, up and running in a short amount of time. I just changed that part there. You can update the social links right, right there. You just add your link right where the pound sign is, and you're done. And, and you've got a very, very nice looking website in a very short period of time. Um, this this uh, video is going to try to cut it off at, at 10 minutes, so um, thank you for watching, and please watch some of my other tutorials on, on web development. Uh, this is Nate, the front-end web developer.